Hi guys, it's your girl Jolinda and I'm back again today with another video. Today I'm going to be going, um, Ty has taken me to, um, I guess you call it a late lunch or early dinner. Um, I think we're going to be going to a place I like called Charleston's. So, stay tuned. I got seafood Alfredo. He got, what's it called? Shrimp and chicken carbonara. Carbonara. Oh my god, that looks good. It's got red peppers in it. Noodles. Um, fed, what kind of? Oh, like spaghetti. Spaghetti noodles. And um, garlic. garlic. Cooking garlic. He, he asked for them to cook the garlic in because it didn't come with garlic, so he, he wanted to have some garlic cooked in. The pop, famous salad, we've torn it down. <laughs> I don't know how. You can see. Can you still see your food? No. I'm trying to fix it, but I can't see. Anyway, with a hand. I didn't bring my tripod. So I'm having to try to stop it. Raspberry lemonade. Garden guys, by the way, <clears throat> I think I said Charleston's. It's, it's Olive Garden. Salt and pepper, yeah, everything else okay other than that? Yep, I'll be back to salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. 
Ten is good enough. Ten is good. You know how new it is when you go over the meat. Yeah. Real salt and pepper. Yeah. That's good. The Alfredo is. Mm -hmm. I think because they put Parmesan in it. Oh, yes, I, well, I, was going I must have been going backwards. <laughs> I must have been going backwards. Done with this bowl or still working on it? Uh, do you want to want some more salad? I'm good, I'm sorry. Yeah. Take it out of If you need more bread later, let me know. Okay. You want another peach tea, sir? Or uh, no, I, thought that was, I thought that empty glass was the peach tea. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. They crack black pepper. Made a difference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what? Can okay. I pepper? Okay. No, it's part of it. <laughs> part of the uh, video. <laughs> oh, but that, that, that's where she was trying to see us at first. Oh, that's fine. They came in after us. <laughs> Well, you teach me to be sure, like, hey. <laughs> Pizza and chicken. Pretty straight trip. Thank you. 
sauce really um, mm -hmm. Can I hear copyrighted for their music? <laughs> huh? I don't think so. You guys, I'm not playing this music. <laughs> Olive Garden is playing this music, so. Hopefully. But I don't have the rights to this music. <laughs> I do not have the rights to this music in the background. So. Okay, over here, guys. Yeah, take your time, no rushing off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Can we get a record telling about the man we'll be watching? Grandpa's cooking over in India. Yeah. Watching we're watching TV. What's it called? Grandpa's cooking. Grandpa's cooking. It's a, uh, it's a show about an older man, elderly man. Over in India. Over in India. India. And he cooks big like food. big quantities of food. Um, and then he feeds the, I guess, a vi the village. Yeah, he his, it, all the kids. All the kids in, the, in this village. 
and we enjoy watching him too. It's like yeah, I wish you they cook outside and they just cook like huge quantities of food and then they take the food and I believe they do the, the proceeds of their YouTube channel. They donate for the food and they, they also donate clothes and stuff to the kids. And the uh, I don't want to know I don't know if it's called the village or where they are, but somewhere in their in their area they you know they buy clothes for the kids and take them take it to the school where the kids are and I think yeah, it's, it's, it's a good a good thing. I love I love to see that kind of thing where people get back. We have clean up even when they cook on Saturday. We have clean yeah. the big old uh, what you call walks. Yeah, they do it outdoor on a on fire on a, in walks and they cook big quantities of food. It always looks good too, doesn't it? And they use fresh everything. Mm -hmm. Fresh ingredients. And very clean. Uh, wash everything. Mm -hmm. Everything looks very clean. Like even though they cook outside, it's like Make unbelievable sure. how clean the pots are and the everything they use, utensils they use. And they show them washing how they show them washing the meat over and over. A nice little setup mm -hmm. to be inside. Yep. Yeah. Grandpa or grandpa be cooking? I don't know. You have to Josh, look it up on, on YouTube. It's, it's either grandpa's or grandfather's cooking. I think it's grandpa. Yeah. Look it up, check it out. It's, it's, it's nice to see people get back. I love to see that. They will be amazed at how much food they cook. Mm -hmm. You get full now, you. What do you think did that? The, the drink or the salad? About the drink. For me, it's my drink. I already finished one off. I ate some salad. Mm. So I've eaten this much. Mm -hmm. You somewhere else it's hard to get the lighting right in it. Mm. Not at home. Mm. Mm. It's <laughs> He don't be want to get on camera. <laughs> <laughs> he just be want to talk. He just want to talk in the background. I told him no. <laughs> you gotta. If you're gonna talk, you're gonna get. You're gonna be seen. Yeah. I messed up the setup I had. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. It kind of, not really, because you can't see the table like you could. What was that? Huh? <laughs> a fly. Oh, uh, that was a fly. You're trying to make it be. I'm trying to flood me out. Okay. What else are we going to do? Huh? Talk about them. Hmm? Get to go boxes and go home and sleep. <laughs> I don't know. I want to go somewhere else. Oh, yes. Maybe go walk it off. Where? At the mall. Shoot. At the, at the, it's not far from here. I, I think I can saw. see it from here. Nope, it's a trap. Banana pepper. This is the hottest banana pip I ever had. You don't even I didn't think they were hot. You don't even eat peppers like that. I'm saying in, in salads, banana peppers are not supposed to be hot. But you have to eat them with seeds in. 
Mm -hmm. You sure? Because ain't no B Love sauce. Hmm? Okay, you sure? I already ate some B Love sauce. What do you mean? No, 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 no. no I'm talking about the kind that I made. I ain't talking the about original seafood. recipe. I'm talking about the hot sauce. Oh, the hot sauce. Not, mm -hmm. the, not the seafood sauce. No, I, I never had the hot sauce. I know Chilling with Walt was giving was Send it. send it to people. I should have asked him to send me some. He ain't, he ain't giving them free hustling. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's supposed to be on the market soon, so hopefully it is. I get some and try it. I'm not a big hot sauce person, though, but I do Tabasco. Well, we got. If we got some, if you want some heat, we got it at the house. Yeah, we have some heat at the house. But I refuse to do that challenge again. I should have filmed it when I did it the first time. Okay, I don't think I can do it again. There's six house houses off the hot, hot room. Sure. He's, he's telling me to tell y'all. Yeah. Which, like, he can't say it his own self. But we have the uh, six sauces that they do on, what was it, from the sixth season, the yeah. hot ones. And we ordered the sixth season of hot sauces on. Six bottles. And it's six bottles of hot sauce, and one is, like, hotter than the other. And every time we one, have company. Every time we have company, people come over, we have them do the challenge. And it's pretty funny to watch because... You know, everybody, they bomb. everybody thinks it's not that hot as they go, but when they get to the bomb, that's a whole, you gotta mess your day up. You gotta mess your whole day up to just be <laughs> done for the day. But we don't, we, 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 we just give them a little, people. we give them a little, a little dab. We yeah, don't just give, a dab, we don't. We're not going to be mean about it. Still doing okay over here? Yeah. Boxes to go, room for dessert maybe? Just two little boxes. Any drinks to go? Drink a tea, lemonade, anything like that? I'll finish this out. Okay. Um, so just two boxes, any bread to go with it? Yes. Okay. Boxes, bread, I'll take that salad plate if you got nothing. Give me another room. Grab back with two boxes and some bread. Thanks. Thanks. Nice lady. Oh yeah. But yeah, so we don't we don't we're not mean about the sauce. We don't want to hurt nobody, so we always warn people how hot well, we it give, can be. We pour it on for them. And then we pour it on. We don't put a, a lot, we just put a little dab of each one so they can taste it, you know. But just that little dab. Let the bomb, the bomb, the bomb. It's, 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 it's pretty tough. It's, it's not pretty tough. It's not for the fainted heart. Yeah. So if you like hot sauce, then you might be all right. But if you're not really into hot, then I mean, it's still not nothing that you put on food and just so just have it on your chicken, you know, for fun. I mean, just because you want the hot sauce, it's not gonna because be you will really regret it. I, I promise. I'm not gonna. I'm, I can't mess with it no more. I had that little little bit. I don't want any more of that. I don't do that challenge no more. I can tell you I ordered the, uh, I ordered it yesterday. You ordered what? The um, other one? We can't give, all, give it all away on that. I'm not finding the answer. Uh, bottom line. People won't want to take the challenge when they come over. Bottom line. Bottom line. I really hate that. Thanksgiving, that we're not gonna be able to have the people we normally have over. Cause man, we could have had a ball with that on Thanksgiving. Well, yeah, some people I would have liked the sauce up here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would have been fun. It's, I but, love when people come and say they're so tough. <laughs> that they that they can handle it. Yeah, check for you guys some okay. mints. Two to go boxes, part of the words is the bottom half. Have some bread to go, and I'll get a bag to carry it off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How long have you been working here, man? Probably like getting close to five years, probably. Okay. I've been doing it for a little while. But uh, yeah, there's no rush. Yeah.
Yeah, I've, I've had some practice at it. I'm, yeah, I'm not about done with school, so hopefully not too much longer. But as I've been hitting, make some money while I'm while I'm doing yeah. something else. But yeah. if you guys need anything, I'll be around. I'll pick that up just whenever you're ready. Okay. Done with that. Take it out of the way. I have a question I want to ask you to ask me. Ask who? Ask YouTube fans, family, or whatever. You know what? I haven't named my people. Okay. Yeah. 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 My question is, when it comes to tips, yeah, she got the phone going everywhere. When it comes to tips, come in on how do you tip? Do you tip tip by how everybody says it's supposed to? What's supposed to be? Thirty percent or ten? What is it supposed to be? Ten or thirty, it I changes. think it's it, yeah. I think it's I think it's said thirty is supposed to be thirty percent would be a lot though. Well no, it says uh, it has to get fifteen percent eighteen and twenty percent. Okay. It's what's on recommended. The receipt is say, on the receipt it say fifteen, eighteen or twenty percent is recommended. Tell me are you guys the type that tips by was recommended, or do y'all chill by how good your service was, or your your weight or your waitress? Yes. Done with these? Yes. That would be something that. Uh, I can get it. It's no problem. Okay. Yeah. Right here with that beach tea. I'll give it up. So, we like for y'all to comment on that. Because I don't know if I should see it or not, but I'm gonna see it anyway. I feel like, and I've always been like this. I tell people on how my service is, how my way to the wages. Because I had I had experiences with some terrible, terrible waitresses and waiters to, to where I thought they was. You know, uh, isolate me. It's a bad thing to treat me. But this guy here that's been waiting on us today is very professional. Uh, makes everything seem like a breeze. So he'll get a good tip. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you might have to raise your hand and get personal attention because you done ran out of something to drink. Yeah. Them people like that, I don't believe in tipping so big. What about you, Ryan? Yeah, I, I kind of agree with that. Because I've had some pretty bad service myself before yeah. in restaurants, but I kind of agree with it. Well, that's kind of how I do it. I mean, I've been on my service. Yeah. How you, on you treated me throughout, you know. Get a bitch tea and it determines that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, guys. Turn it around so we're closing it out. <laughs> well, guys. Thanks for joining us today. Um, this video is got, got pretty long. Mm -hmm. I wasn't make I wasn't gonna make it that long, but whatever. But thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Hit your notification bell so that you don't miss any new posts that I post. Mm -hmm. um, go down. Remember, go down and comment. Let us know what you guys, how you guys tip. And, you know what determines how much you tip 
at a restaurant. Uh, okay, guys. See you later. Bye. <laughs> show me your, show me your, um, mm -hmm. show me your, um, mm -hmm. your Kobe stuff. He's supporting the Lakers and Kobe guys. <laughs> supporting big time support. Can you see it? Is it clear? Mm -hmm. Show them the back of your jersey. It's a hoodie. Just a hoodie. Yeah, a hoodie. Show them the back. I love this hoodie, guys. It's so nice. Nice tribute to Kobe and Gigi. Since the Lakers won last night. Mamba. Mamba. Night before last. Huh? Night before last. Night before last. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm night ahead. <laughs> behind or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm mighty behind. <laughs>